German firm BioNTech will build a regional headquarters in Singapore, along with a cutting-edge factory that makes different mRNA vaccines. The investment is expected to be worth hundreds of millions of US dollars. BioNTech is the co-producer of one of the world's first COVID-19 vaccines. It says a portion of coronavirus vaccines made at the plant will be distributed in Singapore. Brendan Tanotto with more. BioNTech's regional headquarters for Southeast Asia will be in Singapore. It comes with an mRNA vaccine plant set to boost the region's ability to fight future pandemics. Construction starts this year and the firm says it picked the country because of its growing biotech industry. Our plan is, is on the one side to establish a manufacturing footprint, but on the other side really a research and development uh, to benefit also from local talent and from the uh, local ecosystem. It's, um, the, it provides the opportunity not only to manufacture, of course, not only for Singapore, but, uh, but uh, enable, enable a manufacturing hub which can serve parts of Asia uh, and thereby reduce the burden, uh, global manufacturing uh, the burden by, by providing an uh, additional manufacturing help. Still, the new plant won't do much to increase COVID-19 vaccine supplies over the next year. The global supply can only be addressed by, by really, really increasing the, the existing, existing, existing production capac capacities. Yeah. Uh, we, we did that and we are continue to do that in the next, next, um, next uh, 12 months. Our plan is, is to deliver up to 3 billion doses together with our partner Pfizer in uh, 2021. This is, this is more than 50% uh, uh, higher uh, than we had initially announced. The facility is expected to open in two years' time and create up to 80 jobs. It can produce an estimated several hundred million mRNA-based vaccines a year. These don't use any live viruses. Instead, the mRNA instructs the body to make specific proteins similar to those found on viruses. That way, the immune system becomes familiar with such proteins, helping it fend off the real virus later. Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Seng says the technology will improve Singapore's healthcare capabilities. In fact, firms are also studying the use of mRNA for other diseases like cancer. It has drastically reduced the time needed for us to produce a vaccine compared to many conventional methods. So this will also strengthen the portfolio of different vaccine production technologies that we have in Singapore as part of the uh, ecosystem. So we think that this is a very positive uh, uh, news for the Singapore uh, business production uh, ecosystem. Mr Chan adds that the vaccine plan will boost supply chain resilience and at the same time serve the region when pandemics happen.